thought of this fight and fighting in his opponent's home country is all but second nature to Robizi Ramirez by now. It hasn't happened that often in the pro ranks, but the Cuban Southpaw traveled the globe during his storied amateur career that saw two Olympic gold medal wins in 2012, London and 2016, Rio. Even as he relocated to the US, Ramirez still feels like a man without a country. Given that, he was all the way in the moment he was presented when the chance came to defend his WBO featherweight title versus Japan's Satoshi Shimizu. The bout takes place on this Tuesday at Ariaki Arena in Tokyo. Back to when Ramirez said that he feels like a man without a country. It is a shame because right before the weigh-in, he was contacted. He was informed that the Cuban government contacted the Japanese television station and forbade them to play the Cuban national anthem when Robizi was in the ring. Uh, that is a shame. He did express exactly how he felt about that also. When this fight came up, we immediately grabbed it. This is my first time in Japan. I've been around the world, but we have never fought in or even visited here. We will carry the same energy there as we do when we visit someone else's country. Ramirez will attempt the first defense of the title he won in an April 1st decision over former 122-pound title holder Isaac Dogbo in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It will mark the second pro fight outside of the U.S. for Ramirez, who relocated to Miami but now trains in Las Vegas. His lone other trip came in a dominant third-round knockout of Eric Donovan last February 26 in Scotland. The 29-year-old Cuban export now faces Shimizu, a promotional stablemate of former three-division champ Naoya Inoue, who challenges WBC WBO junior featherweight titleist Stephen Fulton in Tuesday's main event. Ramirez said, I've never been worried about traveling for a big fight or fighting in my opponent's home country. I probably represented Cuba in the amateurs, but there were few big events there. So we were always the visiting fighters for all the big tournaments and never really stopped me from achieving my goals. Robizi Ramirez weighed in at 125.7 pounds and so did Shimizu. And though they're both under Olympic gold medalist Robizi Ramirez, 12 wins, one loss, seven by way of knockout. And Satoshi Shimizu, 11 wins, one loss, 10 by way of knockout. Both weighed in at 125.7 pounds under the 126 pound featherweight limit for their scheduled 12 round contest. All right, guys, well, what do you think about the topic of the Cuban government contacting the Japanese and telling them not to play their national anthem for Robizi? You know, we do think that's a shame. And Robizi is very, very proud to be Cuban. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. And uh, also, on a brighter note, who do you think is going to win the fight, Robizi or Shimizu? All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.